Even though attitudes towards gay rights have changed dramatically in North America, in the locker rooms of pro sports, barriers remain. But here comes Michael Sam, a 255 pounds with speed and talent to spare. The openly gay athlete is charging those barriers, maybe all the way into the NFL. And tonight, Paul Hunter tracks the impact. From Hitchcock, Texas, number 52, Every time he ran onto the field, U.S. college football star Michael Sam carried a secret. But this weekend, he took a deep breath and opened up. Came to tell the world that I'm an openly proud gay man. With that, Sam, eligible to soon be drafted into the NFL, thus lined himself up to become the first openly gay player in league history. I was afraid that it would leak out without me actually owning my truth. I want to let the world know and tell him that, hey, I'm gay, let me tell my own story. It would be a huge breakthrough, and maybe one day soon, no longer the stuff of headlines. Consider this weekend, U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder promising to broaden federal support here for same-sex marriage. We will never stop working to ensure that equality under the law is protected by the law. A key guest of Michelle Obama at last month's State of the Union address, Jason Collins, the free agent NBA player who came out as openly gay last year. Please exchange rings. And at the Grammy Awards last month, LGBT weddings, live on American TV. If you can play, you can play. The You Can Play group, which promotes acceptance on this issue, today underlined Michael Sam's move is more evidence this country is changing rapidly. As you deal with younger and younger athletes, it's really not something that uh, the, the next generation coming up sees as an issue at all. Will the NFL see it that way? Michael Sam will now put that to the test on draft day. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.